And I'm just waking up. It's now quarter past twelve. So my eyes are all puffy. If you didn't drink, you wouldn't be paying maintenance anyway, because you wouldn't have shagged each other otherwise, would you? <laughs> That's the truth of it. You wouldn't. Most of you anyway. Oh God. There's a lot of reasons not to drink children. And they all begin and end with money and problems. Um, do you want to be like your parents? No, don't drink. Do you want to be like... Oh, I, was doing, oh, I did this with one of my sons, didn't I? I said to him, look, what you need to do, sit back. Look at a peer group. Do you want to be like that at that age? Basically, it was about dealers. It all looked... Mm, not like I'd all look anyway. Says me. I don't know. Maybe I'm not the best. I just had a dream that my... Do you know, this is crazy, isn't it? My, um, my daughter's... My eldest child, my daughter, she's 30, I think. I don't care anymore. That's another good thing when you don't drink. You literally don't care about anything. Um, you can own your moods, it's true, I've said that to someone else I know, I often say that to people I don't drink I'm still pissed off with you, I don't like you I'm not blaming the drink, it's true I just don't like you um, going, going hard, it's like extreme living um, I just had a dream about my daughter's grandma coming round here, banging on the door asking if she could borrow a couple of old mattresses <laughs> And I said, can't you rig ahead? She never could anyway. And uh, no, you can't. And I was screaming up the road. It's my cunt daughter, excuse my French. Got any manners yet? It's like, um, I don't know. I don't know where this is coming from, really, or where it's supposed to be going. Literally screaming my head off at my daughter having no manners. I wonder she gets that from, not ringing her head. It's annoying, isn't it? It's not always... I mean, OK, sometimes it is OK just to turn up on somebody's doorstep. Uh talk about um not white privilege what is it entitled she was like that when when they used to have her on um not access visits but when she used to go over the weekend like they say well come pick her up at this time i said okay when are you gonna drop her off it's like i don't know when i feel like it it's like well that's helpful isn't it don't drink children seriously i'd never have got out the duff with that one if i hadn't been pissed not that there's anything against my daughter, it's just a lesson in life, isn't it? These things just, they don't, they don't just like, they don't get any better. I'm telling you now, word from the wise. That's all the reasons I can think of, not to drink. Plus, look at the state of me now. I'm done for, literally done for all diseases you pick up. Oh, because everyone looks so much more attractive when you're off with fucking box it's true it's true i do say though that's one of the perks of getting older it's like i'm half blind everyone looks that's much more attractive they do can't see no one it's just always being drunk all the time i do think of other reasons that people drink but it is a political statement isn't it you want to piss people off often. You want to get leery. Uh, it's a political statement not to drink. Is You can still get leery when you're not drunk, you know. But um, I think that's the modern political statement. I'm going to be fair. Um, right, I'm going to make another political statement now. I'm going to get dressed at quarter past 12 after not getting drunk for the football. I took up the team listening to football, so that's a political statement. I didn't have coffee. And I bought a bottle of Pepsi Max because it's a political statement not to drink Coke because scrupulous Crips, Crips, <laughs> scrupulous Crips told me not to. Crips is criminal if you haven't watched that episode. Um, we are the Crips, aren't we? Scroob. Um, we're the Bare Facts Crips. And um, 
you can you can feel as fresh as me. You can still you can still lounge around and say no, I don't want to get up today if you don't drink actually. And um I've still got a headache. It's true. Because I need to drink some water. Because this TikTok tea, I think, is dehydrating me. Probably because it makes me go to sleep hard. And I've probably slipped my mouth open. And all the air gets dried up. All the water gets dried up. Oh, that's the other thing. In my liver book, it says you, you don't sleep better when you drink. Because you wake up. Because your liver is doing something. I can't remember all the words. But that's probably because I drunk so much and did so much glue when I was younger. So I'd do everything, honestly. I did everything. Sniff petrol. Uh, which my daughter's dad once happily told my father. <laughs> First time he met them. Thanks for that. Do you know what? You're a clown, aren't you? He's a Pisces too. Um, he's got a drunk problem though. That's not my fault. Oh, he did have one. Um, so literally, there's nothing, nothing I don't really know about the drugs culture. I'm gonna be honest. The other thing I was thinking when I had to go, I went to an NA meeting a while back. I went to AA a couple of times to support a friend. I was quite interested to go because I don't know. You can always encourage other people to do it if you've done something, can't you? I didn't need to in the end. Because I got so smashed at a Blur gig in Hyde Park. I've said this elsewhere. I got absolutely off my knockers and fed a load of rat poison, I think, which I thought was sniff. And um, literally thought I was going to die the next day and physically just couldn't drink after that. It wasn't I didn't want to, but I didn't want to. I just couldn't, didn't like it. It just flipped something in me. So, I mean, I suppose that's a bit of a cheat's way around it. Or maybe I was just so scared if I did anything else, I was going to die. So I didn't do anything for ages afterwards. And, um, and that was pretty much it, to be honest. But, um, anyway, I ended up going to an meeting once because I, um, basically, this is not that long ago. I thought it was an AA meeting for one, and they said to go back. And um, I was basically having a mental blip, and I went to the doctors because I thought I was having another psychotic episode. Just need to talk to people. Um, and at that point, the, I couldn't think of anyone, and I knew there was a meeting. So I went round into the meeting, and she said she was NA, but stay. And she was so lovely. Um, and it was helpful being there it helped me in a lot of ways coffee is still like a narcotic and smoking so I mean it's not like I didn't have a, a reason to be there but I stopped going because I know there's other people that I know who access those groups I might have had it all for them but I'd quite like, I would have quite liked to be, they call it sponsors don't they, when you support other people so um, I don't know really I don't know I'd be great, wouldn't I? What are you fucking doing? <laughs> but I've been through it all, you know, years ago. This is when I was... How old was I? Other Mark. Other Mark. Other Mark. Other Mark. Marks, marks are often just marks in time, aren't they? It legitimately was a mark. This is an ex, he was fresh. And um, we were proper drinkers. And um, come back from the pub. We shared a bed, but we never slept together. He was gay. <laughs> <laughs> just so you slept where you could in those days didn't you? it's like oh there's a bed well, I'm getting in it you're not sleeping in my bed though I don't want to sleep in your bed you can sleep on the floor I want to sleep on the floor I'm getting in your bed though because I'm drunk get out of the way you can sleep on the floor anyway he threw up down the side of my bed he was asleep and then threw up and um oh god was that the time you can't have been picking pills out of your sick when you were asleep can you I think you did though but he definitely did do it People do that all the time. Or maybe that was his nose ring. I'm getting stories mixed up. Honestly. People do, though. Like, you throw up after you've taken your pills, go scrabbling through the sick to pick the pills out and take them again. Honestly, it's not It's not really clever, is it? It's not. Especially when other people can remember the story. 
guys and tell them on the internet all those years later. You'll probably get them wrong because their their brains are fried. Honestly, children, it's not funny. We've all done it. You're not doing anything new. And um, I'm not doing anything new. My parents were in the sixties. Christ. Exactly. It's the same story repeating over and over. They'd never have got together if they hadn't been smashed. I can't imagine. And um, then I wouldn't be here. So just imagine what you'd be saving by not producing. If you don't get drunk, don't take a load of drugs, don't have children, you won't end up with a child like me in 50 years' time that just is the most awful person you can imagine because things always change there's always going to be someone beat me you know I won't be the most awful person forever um that's the truth <sighs> I really want baklava I'm craving sweet things now and oh I don't know is is it my I'd never come up in YouTube the other day about Eid and um about people starving in Eid now Eid's Muslim Christmas isn't it basically because it comes after um Ramadan it's like a celebration of the end of Ramadan isn't it so Ramadan you give everything up so you can remember what it's like to have nothing <laughs> And um, Eid comes after. Now, I thought this was a while ago. I didn't realise it went on this long. I didn't know that. Because um, I went past my coffee bar, my Turkish coffee bar, a while back. It was heaving. There was a girl there I knew. I said, oh, is it some sort of do? She goes, yeah, it's Eid. It's our... Because she's Muslim. Or she married a Muslim bloke anyway. Um, well, she is, I think, Muslim. Uh, it's like our Christmas. That's why I suggested the um, round up to a pound. It's like the money box thing. There's an app called Money Box, which my my son started using, and it gives you like you can put so much into it as a way of saving, like every week or whatever, whenever you get paid, and then round up to a pound. So every time you use your card, it rounds up the money to the next thing, and then that money goes into the savings account. I just thought it'd be a good thing to do for like a. A different you should have the option on a cash machine like um a uh you know when you do your shopping at the, in there on the place you go to or whatever they're called you could have an option for different charities or you could have your preferred charity or because i've done that before in tesco's when i've it was had comic relief i think and it says, do you want to round up to a pound to comic relief? Or do you want to, on another time, I think it was like, homes. it would be, you know, it can't be difficult, can it? You can do a lot of things like that, and I'm sure you can fix this. Hell's alive. Right, 